Meets. Welcome to another episode. We will be talking about help for the micro, small, and medium enterprise business owners, wherein we want to serve as a one-stop shop business solution for your questions about starting or business in operation and business in succession planning. Ayan. And this is Coach Ayet, your business builder mentor. Um, from CEO Insights Asia, and I'm also the COO of XDT Group of Companies. I serve as a business mentor of the winning circle in CEO Insights Asia every third Mondays of the month, and I hope that you can tune in and join our roundtable meetings so that you can understand and um, share best practices for with uh, fellow CEOs, ayan, with fellow CEOs there in CEO Insights Asia. And today, I would like to bring value and services to you guys who are listening. Hi sa mga ka-FA, mga fellow business owners, and families in business who are listening to us right now. I want to uh, give this uh, very short introduction in terms of how we journey in the business cycle. So the very first session was how to register your business. And then the second is how to market the business, diba? Siyempre, naisip agad natin yung income revenue or revenue generation. In this time, um, of course, those marketing um, uh, activities have costs, diba? And when we say cost, we think about how do we increase our capital? Do we need to borrow money? How do we go about our operation or OPEX, diba? Operation expenses. And um, but with with say uh, with that key insight from last session, we said that marketing and branding or personal branding um, can be a cost center, especially if you do not do it right the first time. Ibig sabihin, if nadudunan tayo sa DIY, wala nang problema doon. Kasi, di ba, everybody is starting. Um, they have their migration to the digital platform. And it is very important to uh, be seen online. However, if there are a lot of tests yan, and trial, that costs us money. And as a business owner, we wanted na more than the awareness or yung reach ng ating businesses, whether you are in service, retail, F&B, etc. Kailangan mo mabalik yon. And in terms of costs, we also uh, we are also made aware that it has to be stipulated in our financial statements. Okay. So ano ano ba yung mga cost centers of business? So these are the few. Um, you have your cost of goods sales, de ba? Uh, cost of service, your operation expenses, yan yung mga nakikita nyo doon sa expense part of your financial statement. Cost of sales, cost of delivery if you are in retail. And we have our non-OPEX. -op we are also, we also have our accrued and our prepaid expenses. And um, usually, we don't uh, list those things. Kaya, kaya nag-mambo-jumbo yung ating, ano, ano, yung ating uh, financial statements, hindi natin nahihiwala yung business aspect sa ating personal. And being a micro, for example, micro, small business enter, uh, group or business, it sometimes kinakaligtaan na yun because we look forward to how do we reach people, etc. Today, we will know how to uh, support the business because I, uh, I invited somebody who has been in this type of business, what we call the lending and microfinancing. Ayan. So uh, this person is a, is a good friend and he helped a lot of people in terms of their personal cash loans. And then there are also some who are um, in business loans. So he served the multinational companies for more than uh, five years as a part of the support team or the workforce management. And he has been operating MCF. And lalaman natin later kung ano ibig ng MCF for more, for more than a decade now. And ngayong panahon ng pandemic, alam natin na marami tayong kasgastusin, kaunti ang pumapasok. So, naisip ko na imbitahan ito. 
Welcome on stage, Louis Salapare. Let's give him a hand. Hi, Louis. Hi. Hi. Hello. Good evening. Ayan. Um, yes, mabuti, mabuti. <laughs> Thank you for um, uh, making time for, for us uh, on, on this session here in Bounce Back Network. So uh, I've mentioned a while ago na top of mind, if you are in business, you need capital. Naisip din natin ng uh, funding, lending, etc. Can you tell us more about what you do? What is MCF? Ayan, what is MCF? All right. So basically, MCF is a lending uh, company. And we've been here in the business since 2010. So what we do is, you know, uh, as you mentioned, we cater to the needs of the of the consumers, uh, primarily in the call center industry. Kasi doon ako galing. So, ah, okay. doon na yung market. So, might as well grow the business there. So, in terms of capital, of course, syempre sa business naman. Eh. Uh, for me, siguro, you really need to save para magkaroon ka ng capital. So, yep. at least, syempre, for me, uh, ang maganda kasi doon, if, if nandung ka sa optimistic side, kapag lumago yung business, mas, mas makakapag-expand ka if you don't have any debts. So, kaya, kaya what we do, what we practice in the business is that uh, in order for you to build your own business, you need to save first. Kasi wag, wag, you don't rely sa mga, sa mga raising capital without really having knowledge do sa business na papasukin mo. Kasi medyo, medyo <clears throat> hindi maganda yung, yung path kapag in case nag-flop yung business in the next couple of years. Imagine, right. na oh, oh. Yes, tapos meron pang utang na binabayaran, may naiwan pang debts. Exactly. But in, oh. but in if the capital came from your savings, malugi man yan bukas, you don't have any remorse na may meron pa akong obligation na babayaran in the next 24 months or 36 months, depending sa tenor ng loan. As in, you can you can move on bukasan. You can you can siguro save 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 again and uh, learn from the mistakes kung bakit nalugi yung business. And from there, syempre, yun, start ko ulit ng panibagong business. The only, siguro, uh, it, kasi part na rin ng mga naturo sa financial planning, you only borrow uh-huh. capital if right. there's already a good track record ng business. Yun, meron akong gustong tanungin yes. dyan. Um, according to what you mentioned, diba, in a business, you have to have uh, a certain capital. And there are a lot of people who are saying, na, can you really start with zero capital, Louis? Parang, um, I wish to also do that and uh, recommend that. But based from experience, what what is your take? What is your take on that? Coming from MCF, siguro, ano, uh, we are not believer of something that uh, you can start with zero capital. Especially for, for lending business, at least kahit meron ka man lang 5,000 or 10,000 to start the business, pwede na yun. Pero practically, right. kapag zero, right. parang ano eh, parang medyo, medyo mahirap yun. Kasi una sa lahat, may mga expenses ka na agad, outright, like mm. yung for the licenses, for, for yung registration. Oo, Though, no, syempre, for, for startup businesses, uh, lalo na dito sa Philippine settings, uh, most of the time, kapag startup, lalo na pag yung maliit lang, yung like matitin na ka lang na pagkain, uh, parang norm na na kahit wala mo ng business permits. Until you, until such time na masabi mo sa sarili mo na I'm ready for ano, for for the serious business. Exactly. Then, and when, pwede ka nang exactly. magpalakad ng, ng mga business permits, ng mga mm-hmm. documents. And when can you say that you are perfectly ready, di ba? Mas maganda nga talaga na ginagawa na yung first step is really done uh, appropriately. And as a, when we say appropriately is that you have to plan it out first before you take action. And then once you take action, decided ka na dapat na i-register. Ano siya, et cetera? 
Yes. yes. Exactly. And um, with regard to um, with regard to starting a business again, so after registration, uh, are there a lot of people that you encountered in the past? na business sila pero they needed capital extra capital according to uh, parang nandoon na sila sa operations but then they needed to uh, still have an extra kasi parang di ba usually kapag you're in business na parang ay ang dami nang pumapasok pero dumadami rin yung demand was there ever an instance in your practice yes uh, for MCF kasi halos lagi mataas ang demand like we we never sleep so, tuloy tuloy yung demand, regardless. We of never the, sleep. Uh oh. <laughs> As in, uh, kahit sabi mo yung mga dull months, like yung mga ghost months, mat- mataas pa rin yung demand. Even, even, especially ngayon, holiday season, maraming consumers ang nag avail ng services namin. So, right. kasi right. with MCF, we, we have four quarters sa isang taon. So, din, sinesegregate namin depende sa demand. Like for example, this uh, fourth quarter of the year, mataas ang consumer loans uh, towards gadget loans. Towards gadgets. Right. Marami yung mga mga upgrade ng, ng mga gadgets nila kasi ito yung season na maraming nilalabas na bago yung mga, yung mga companies like Apple Pero, and Samsung. Right. But um, having to be in this business, eh, ang taas ng commensurism, di ba? Ang daming mga gustong uh, bumili ng items. And it's a good it's a good thing for the economy kasi may exchange of money. Um, uh, uh, based from experience, nakaka-break even ka naman doon sa mga nilalabas na supplies. And then, how long does it usually take for you to recover? Mm, okay. Well, for, for MCEF, ano talaga eh? Uh, First of all, it's a lending business, risky. So, di mo alam kung kailan malakas. So, lagi kang mag-anticipate for for ano, for the volume ng ng consumers. So, you have to invest in sa, sa maraming stocks. Di mo alam kung kailan maubos kasi we believe na ano, uh, well, in in the financial industry, it's more on the emotional side. Kapag exactly. may gusto yung client, exactly. dapat as, as soon as possible, you can cater do sa need niya. Otherwise, kapag pinagintay mo, ano, three to five days, magbabago yung isip. So, Customer sa delight pa rin, ano? Side. Oh, oh, so, we try oh. to address that gap na kapag may order yung client, as soon as possible, dapat may deliver agad siya. Right. Pagdating naman sa mga business uh, loans, um, medyo keen ka ba on filtering whether you would like, uh, if, for example, uh, there are two uh, certain people who will come to MCF and say, hey, can I borrow money? And then business owners sila, but then this first one is a startup, yung isa naman, in existence na. Kasi usually sa banks, diba? Um, this is based on uh, observation also. So, sa, sa banks may mga credit score, diba? And based on credit score, ang startup, wala pa siyang score, diba? Kasi, ano siya, nagsistart pa lang. And Usually, as, as you mentioned, lending is a risk. And uh, how, when, when you say mitigating the risk in terms of lending, how do you guys, um, uh, what do you call this, um, cater to those two people? Do you, do you side more on the existing business or dun sa startup? Parang ganun. Kasi sa banks, usually, they, they would like to have the existing business na lower yung risk. For, for us... Uh, there was this time na uh, we we'd like to support yung mga startup businesses like kahit wala pa namang income capacity pero syempre usually yung mga naglo-loan sa amin ng business is may mga existing jobs pa yan to support Uh-oh. yung Uh-oh. Ano nila yung expenses uh, we allow business loans dati kahit kahit wala pang track record yung business as in it's it's just na, an idea na gusto niyang i-push yung, yung, ano, yung business. However, uh, what hap- ang nangyayari kasi is, ano eh, kapag nalulugi yung business, naiiwan na rin yung obligation nila. So, we learn from that and we will learn through losses. Uh-oh. Kaya, Uh-oh. moving forward, uh, part of our filtration is kailangan meron ng track record yung business. For is, us it to, is it hard? 
to ano yeah. to apply for a loan sa MCF. Madali naman. Uh, it, it would take only 72 hours for the approval. Wow. As long as you meet the requirements. Okay. Pero okay. yun right. nga, as much as possible, kapag may nag-loan sa amin for business purpose, I usually advise them na you save more na lang. You save na lang muna. You save and invest. Tapos kapag enough na yung yung savings mo, that's the best time na i-push mo yung gusto mong business. Para ano, para kasi iba yung conversation kapag yung client na kausap mo is merong capital versus sa mm-hmm. uh, client na walang, walang wala pa talaga. Correct. And there are also types of... Types of Very Take limited one. yung one. yung ano yung ideas na pwede mong i-advise sa tao na wala pa talagang wala pa talagang capital versus do sa meron na. Kasi kapag meron na, you simply advise them take whatever risk na andiyan sa business. You'll never know kung malulugi or lalago until you try. Pero kasi sa sa yun. Sa part na wala pang capital, ano eh, medyo kailangan play safe. Kasi right, na, right, right, right. Tsaka they can project, for those who are already in business, they can project um, kung kailan nila accrue, kung kailan sila makabayad, short and long term uh, obligations nila based on their track record. And you will have the assurance also as being the lender, di ba? And speaking of lenders, guys, alam nyo ba na maraming types ang lenders? There are actually four. Um, and usually the lenders that we know are banks, credit unions, traditional financial institutions. There's also peer-to-peer lenders, crowdfunding contributors, family and friends, of course, in mga small circles natin, and yourself. Ayan, pwede kang mag-loan sa sarili? Pwede, ilo-loan mo yung savings mo, di ba? Which here, um, basta naman maganda yung documentations mo, uh, properly accounted, um, basta ihiwalay mo yung business sa personal. That's good. And dahil dyan, Louie, I have another question. Um, makakabuti ba ang borrowing money at all, like in general, in its entirety? Nang isang sa isang business. Uh, maybe you can tell us something about uh, a client or ikaw personally, yung naging challenges mo. Aside from, yun nga, parang nung nag-risk kayo tapos hindi hindi nabayaran agad or hindi nabayaran at all, meron bang mga ganong instances? Yes. Uh, well, part of part of business naman is uh, having risk. So, for example, sa restaurant, hindi naman lahat ng ng food, mabibenta in a day. Oo. Yung spoilage rate, no? Spoilage rate. Yes, tatapo na. So, like yeah. in like in any other businesses, may kanya-kanyang risk. But but for us, syempre, may mga naka-prepare kami ng risk uh, mitigation process. Not really to zero out the risk, but to minimize and manage. Oo, tama. Mahirap kasi din naman kasi. Mga, may mga hindi maiwasan na ano, uh, clients na hindi makapagbayad, either Uh, na wala ng work or siguro nagkasakit or or sabi natin uh, or any other reasons kung bakit nagiging outdated yung loans nila. Has the so, pandemic na, affected na, MCF? MCF? Yung um, in terms of, di ba you've been operating for more than a decade and then suddenly pandemic happened. I'm sure there's a lot of demand for MCF ngayon. Um, how is the what you call that, the the period of payment, mas naglonger ba? Or mas umikli? Or sakto lang? Pareho lang? We offered yung, yung implement ng bank last year, which was the Bayanian Act, wherein kapag may loan ka, you can opt to pay the interest only for that specific month or mag-skip ka. The only challenge kapag, the only challenge with banks is that nagiging balloon yung payments. So, for example, nag-skip ka ng three months. Totoo. Totoo. On the fourth month, kailangan mo bayaran whatever yung, ano, yung naipo na balance. And for us, parang hindi siya healthy as a provider, as a financial provider. That's why we initiated yung flexibility ng payments. So, for example, for for a car loan na naka-default sa five years, kapag nakapag-skip siya ng six months due to pandemic, mangyayari, hindi magbabaloon on the seventh month. I-extend namin yung terms 
So parang magiging 5 years and 6 months na yung total. Tapos lower. Tapos yung lower. Niya. Yes. Uh, Pero the percentage That's of one. the interest is the same. Tama ba? Percentage? Yung interest. Yung interest. I-extend okay. nyo lang yung period. Tama ba? Yes, extend. Yes. Uh, in a way, at least makatulong for the liquidity din sa consumers na imbes na ipangbayad sa kotse or sa kung, kung anong loan, ipangbili na lang ng mga ng pagkain sa bahay. Exactly. Especially nung exactly. hard lockdown last year. Right, right. Kailangan, right, kailangan right. ng tao yung liquidity. Mm-mm. So kami so na just, so just, na yun, you can skip the payment para at least you can prioritize your family. Tapos i-resume mo na lang once naging okay na yung finances. Right. And I would like to correlate lang between lending, um, having it as, a, as an extra capital for your business, and yung sinasabi nating uh, expenses dun sa personal. So, um, ano ba yung benefit? Ayan, ano ba yung benefit of lending? Number one, if, yun nga, magmula dun sa start ng session natin, if you are registered, you can borrow money. Not just in a uh, peer-to-peer, but uh, also institutions like MCF, banks, etc. Another benefit of um, having a registered business is that if you needed IDs or additional capital, uh, as I've mentioned, additional benefit for your people, that's also a good thing. Kasi, di ba sa MCF, you mentioned na you still filter people. Siguro nagwa-background check ba? Nagwa-background check naman din kayo, di ba? If the person is really qualified for this certain amount that they are borrowing. And, uh, for example, you're already marketing your business. One thing also to um, make sure of is that you are properly covered or your, all your bases are covered because uh, mahirap naman in the middle of things tapos biglang ay kulang yung capital natin tapos you know you you'll have to file bankruptcy and because hindi naman na, na, nahihinto sa OPEX ang ating expenses we also have to uh, renew our licenses our certificate of registrations every year ayan just to give you an idea january na po meron tayong ano <laughs> Meron tayong deadline for uh, registration ng business at saka yung mga individual nating mga professionals. Do we, um, I would like to um, ask this but I'm sure uh, parang stating the obvious naman. No? Mahirap yung ginagawa nyo, diba? I mean, syempre security-wise, you have to go to that person who is um, borrowing and um, what are the measures uh, just to protect also the people who are giving, the, for example, the item um, to the recipient. And uh, yun yung mga risks involved, as you mentioned, diba? All businesses have that. It's just that, syempre, kapag you're in the lending business, medyo um, another um, point also to look at is your safety. Ayan. <laughs> And, alam niyo si Louis sobrang ano nito si Pagge. Eh. Ayun sige Louis. Can you ano, uh, elaborate on well, for us, uh, lahat naman ng loan proceeds namin uh, even pre-pandemic digital na lahat. So hindi na kami yung old school or traditional way na pupunta, pupunta sa office pupunta. tapos pag approve ng loan, ibibigay mo in cash. Kasi there were instances wherein pagka alis ng client ang wife pera, na hold up sa labas. So oh my gosh. Oh what, my we gosh. Did, what we did was we we applied yung ginagawa sa banks. Kasi oh, okay. ever since na nag-start yung mga online app, online banking app, uh, sumabay na rin kami sa sa ganung ano, uh, strategy ng mga banks. Kaya, so, so you both kaya, oh. yun, kaya kahit no hard lockdown last year, uh, you're still in operation. Is operational. Oh, that's great. That's great. So, um, you cater to both personal and businesses, right? Tama ba? For loan? Uh, yes, or... yes. Okay. Pero majority of our portfolio are focused on uh, personal. Okay, personal. And this is not limited to cash loans. It's also um, heavy on or big chunk of your uh, inventory is on the supplies, right? Uh, gadgets, tama ba? Yeah. And so we learned today about lending, how borrowing money can help the business, and not all costs are 
expenses. So, ibig sabihin, kapag meron kang nilend, could be something because you are diversifying or growing your business or you're um, pivoting to a next level. Diba? Kunyari, you are in this main, uh, say for example, food. Dati nagkikater ka, uh, tapos bigla nag-pandemic, so wala na masyadong events. Ngayon, mga frozen goods na. But then, of course, meron yan extra logistics kasi wala ka nga lease, nadagdagan naman ng logistics, yung extra wrappers, yung mga bumili ka ng, ano, ng ref, di ba, for the frozen goods. So, those are parang dapat nasa contingency plan. And, which reminds me, no, uh, before doing any um, business, you guys need to have a business plan. And when you draft a business plan, part doon ang lending or possible borrowing of money. Because that is also um, translating to um, protecting your capital, your main capital, and growing your revenue. And if you would like to learn more about drafting the business plan, ayan, I would like to invite you to visit my website, coachayat.com.ph or you can comment here the comment section your questions also for Louis Louis where can we find MCF and how can we contact you sige do you have a page pala Facebook page uh, we're currently uh, in the process of creating the page for MCF but as of now you can reach me on my social media account that's Louis Aurelio Salapare. And sige, we will uh, chat that in the comment section. Yes, sige, we and might then, uh, uh, launch our Facebook page for the lending business uh, January of 2022. Yeah. All right. And so on your screen, guys, uh, this is how you can get in touch with Louis or MCF. Um, if they call you, um, it'll go straight to your line, right, Louis? Yes. Okay, great. And then if you have anything, uh, say, for example, you're a startup, and then maybe you can sit down and have a discovery call with Louis and, and his team on how you can uh, mitigate risks. Diba? Si Louis a previous financial advisor also. <laughs> so he understands how, um, how businesses are done and how can you grow your money also. And more importantly, because he is now in the lending business, which is helping many people and startups, especially how to bounce back from this pandemic. Um, contact Louis at this number and uh, or uh, yeah, check their page in Facebook uh, sometime next year. And then if you have any questions in the comment section, I will be answering those for you. And if you are going to say start and probably uh, mag-borrow ba ako or mag-start na ba ako? Paano ko ba gagawin to? Um, contact me at coachayat.com.ph Ayan, ang aking key insights, Louis, uh, tonight is that um, you mentioned something about risks. And sabi nga, tama naman, if you are in business, hindi mo iwasan ng risk. Actually, paglabas mo pala ng bahay, may risk na eh. Pagkagising mo sa umaga, may risk na. But make sure that your risks are calculated um, are calculated so that um, if it's calculated, you can project, okay? And if you have problems, say, uh, that is ka kind of affecting or nagsuswat analysis kayo, strength, weakness, opportunity, and threat on, say, your personal or on your, in your business, mas maganda siyang din document. Siguro, advice ko lang sa mga gusto magpatap ng business is you really have to plan and follow yung yung gusto mo. Uh, you may not be in the full-time position na mag-manage ng business, but that's okay. You have to be patient and trust the process. It's okay yeah. na pag sabihin niyo oh. yung day job saka yung, yung side hustle, yung business. Kasi uh, eventually, dadating yung panahon na yung income mo from, from your business can already sustain your, your expenses na pwede ka nang umalis sa day job. And once again, this has been Coach Ayet with Louie. Thank you so much, MCF. Ayan, mga kabizmates. I hope that you stay safe. Have a safe 
holiday and I wish you a great 2022. And may we all have a secured and a happy lifestyle. See ya. Thank you, everyone.